Good morning. Today we will start our uh, first lesson in our course book Pioneer module 1A. Uh, as you can see uh, on page 8 we have a text. What color is your parachute? We have some new vocab uh, that you should study well. Of course you are going to find the meanings of each word in your booklet. Uh, after discussing this uh, text in our class, we are going to move to the meanings of each word. Now we are in slide two. Uh, we are in page nine. Uh, in exercise G, we have some words. Some of them are verbs and phrasal verbs. We are going to match them, match the meanings. Delve into one. Uh, the meaning is to explore. Okay, uh, the uh, something, connotation. Connotation means uh, a word or an idea that comes into your mind when you um, think of something else. Colloquial means informal. Again, you are going to find each meaning uh, in uh, the, the, the booklet. Counterpoint, this is an opposite view and sometimes a musical instrument. Savvy means knowledgeable. Etiquette, this is the way you do something. Uh, recruit, to hire new people into work. Invaluable, means extremely valuable. Uh, as you can find them all in your um, uh, booklet. We also have in our slide two, diligence, which is a high degree of caution, to be uh, cautious of something, to take care of something. Now we are moving to slide number three. We are going to uh, answer the exercise together. We are still in page nine, exercise G. Again, one, delve into. So of course, is D. Two, connotation, G. Three, colloquial, A, as we said, that colloquial means informal. Then four, counterpoint, F, which is a contrast. Savvy, five, is B, knowledgeable. Uh, then six etiquette, six is H of course, rules of behavior, okay, how to eat, how to sit, how to do something. Uh, seven recruit, recruit, seven I, to take on new members, to let them work with you for example. Then eight invaluable, take care that here in doesn't mean contrast, in means more here. Okay, so invaluable means extremely valuable. Now we are moving to slide number four. Uh, and in our book, it's page 10. As you can see here, we have some words that are closer in meaning to each other. Uh, as for the first set, enhance, elevate, boost, exceed. For number one, he started telling, as you can see here in the booklet, we have the meaning enhance to improve in value. Uh, exceed to go beyond the limit. For example, to exceed the limits when you are uh, traveling, driving your car, elevate to lift up, uh, and maybe to uh, be in a good mood. Boost, raise, or promote. Okay, so take care that they all mean increase, but in different contexts, in different places. Number one, he started telling jokes to what the mood but everyone still felt awful about the incident. Huh? So they were all sad, but he was trying to do something to make them happy, to elevate them. You can use elevate or boost. Number two, their expenses, what they uh, monthly budget, so they uh, have implemented cost cutting measures. So their expenses, the money that they pay, what th is greater than their monthly uh, budget, so this is exceeded. Okay, so two, exceed, three, if you want to do what? The flavor of vegetables, try adding some herbs and virgin olive oil. So this is enhance or boost. As you can see, we uh, sometimes can find more than one suitable answer for the same uh, sentence. Uh, number four, in an effort to what productivity? Huh? We want to boost it, okay, to enhance it, to improve, to increase. So four, enhance or boost. We are moving now to the coming slide. 
which is slide number five. We have here manage, run, operate, undertake. Manage to control, like to be a manager, okay? Maybe to control the situation. Operate to perform work, to work, okay? Maybe to make an operation. Uh, three, uh, undertake, assume responsibility, to accept to be responsible for something, okay? Uh, and of course, we have run, again, to manage. Okay, so five, while my colleague uh, was away, I, huh, I took the responsibility of the work. So this is to accept to be responsible for, so this is undertook. Okay, so five, undertook. Uh, six, while trying to what the huge workload. Huh. So he is trying to control this, so this is manage, six, manage. Uh, seven, five years ago, my cousin moved to Japan to teach English, and now he a language school there. Huh. He is responsible for something he manages, he runs. Okay, so we can use manage and run. Eight, you need to be able to what? Heavy, machine, uh, heavy machinery, to make a machine work. So this is operate. So operate means to perform work, okay? Then now in slide number six, we also have new set of vocab, occupation, profession, possession, vocation, career, employment. Most of them mean, of course, work or a job. As you can see, occupation, this is state of occupying. Again, the meanings are all in our booklet. Then profession, this is occupation. Uh, a job, for example, position, this is the location, your position in the company. You are a um, manager. Uh, or something, vocation, regular employment, employment, paid occupation. Number one, uh, sorry, nine, the firm, firm means company, the firm deals with cases concerning human rights and they need lawyers who don't consider their, their what? Their job, so their profession, their occupation. So in number nine, we can use profession or occupation. Just another job, but uh, what? they feel that their job is important. So when you feel that your job is important, okay, uh, for the people, for uh, the society, this is vocation, okay? So vocation usually means that you think that your job is very important. Um, 10, in the form uh, in front of you, please fill in uh, only your name, date of birth, contact details, and what? Position occupation uh, or profession. We can use any of them. Then in number uh, 11, his acceptance of the transfer uh, to our branch in Barcelona depends on whether his wife will find, will find what? Will find employment. So employment, any job. Number 12, again, Mrs. Andrew uh, work her way up from a low level, what? She started uh, her job in a very low position. Then afterwards, she became CFO. So position your place in the company or in the school. Uh, then Johnson & Sons, building herself a successful 20 year, what? This is the period of work, so this is career, okay? Now we are moving to slide number seven. the difference between economic, economical, and financial. Okay, economical means careful, okay, uh, about money, um, that saves money, economic related to money, financial related uh, to finance. So which would say is the most what way to use paper in the office? That is not costing money, so this is economical, saves money, saves effort, so this is economical. 14, uh, if you were to ask for his what support, so this is related to money, we can use financial or economic. Then in 15, many countries experienced what growth? Again, this is related to money, but for the country we use economic, okay? Because this is a broader meaning. Then in slide number eight, 
we have productive, effective, and efficient. Productive result of producing, okay, and the productivity to give more than what is required, okay. Effective, strong, desired effect. The effect is very uh, strong. Efficient, working very well. 16, it has been a very what year for the company. We opened ice cream panels in three new locations. So this is very productive. We have new products, okay? And we have a new result of producing. Then 17, the language teaching methods must be very huh, effective. Uh, as we said, that has a strong effect. Then 18, Mrs. White is a very efficient secretary. So she works well. Take care that the meanings here are very important and each one of them should be understood well. Thanks for uh, listening and bye.